And we're back with another Cooking Up with a Storm segment with Jacob Dickey. Um, I can't even tell what we're making today. Not a clue. <laughs> Not a right? clue. It's quite the name play. I have no idea. What is happening? What <laughs> Nothing Christmas related, I promise. Well, I thought it was okay to do this because, um, well, one, Little Debbie Christmas Tree Cakes came out, and I like them. So <laughs> here we are. And I always do it every year as well. And number two is that actually in the newsroom for the past month and a half, Taylor has been singing Christmas carols yep. during commercial breaks and things like that. So Never. Uh, it's actually been happening all the time. We've been trying to get her to, to stop. We've got to uh, we're in. Halloween, right? We've got we're to... all in, though. She is just so <laughs> joyful and so much in the spirit. Hey, I am a Christmas person, but I, just wait till Halloween. we got yeah, one week, okay? She's going to she have to paint all her pumpkins red and green. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So we're doing a Little Debbie Christmas tree cake dip here, and uh, they're starting to pop up in stores. And naturally, I got my own case, because why not? Uh, and this is actually a really great dip. You did a pumpkin dip. I did. And for Christmas, you can do this uh, for Thanksgiving, for Christmas. The thing is, though, is I've heard some rumors that you know, you, you kind of want to get your boxes early, because in prior years, typically they've ran out of stock before Christmas. Ooh. Now, Little Debbie called me and told me and said that the chocolate trees aren't available this year. I'm so oh. sorry to say that out loud. Uh, and Bringing us bad yes, news. Those morning. were my favorite because you could also make this dip as chocolate, but they aren't available this year. I think a combination of cocoa prices being really high this year due to, to some uh, market things, and then also uh, they just wanted to make sure they kept up with the, the traditional Christmas mm. trees. But there's some other products too. Have you seen these donuts yet? Look at these. Yeah. <sighs> aren't those fun? Doesn't that look fun? We might try those later. What do you think? Oh, we we just certainly dip. will. Certainly. Dip as well. Got so it. let's get started with a dip. You're going to need a food processor or a uh, stand mixer like I've got here. And uh, to start, we need Christmas tree cakes, don't we? So I'll just pull my bowl out so we can see it a little bit better there. And the first thing we're going to do is drop in five Christmas tree cakes in there. If you're feeling adventurous, add a six. Be okay with that. So, but a five of the box. So it makes sense just a box worth of Christmas tree. Or maybe just leave one off to the side to try and... Ah! You're gonna, yeah, he's, he's trying to eat one there. I got, I got plenty of boxes here. Perfect. We'll uh, be able to try those. So we've got those in there, and that's going to help give us that flavor. You know, that's what it's made up. Thank you so much. Uh, of course. Thrown away in the trash for me. Oh, we're gonna secret do a ingredient. Secret ingredient. Now, you used Cool Whip yep. for your dip. Same thing here. We're going to do a whole tub of it and drop it in there, and uh, that's going to give it some. Actually, one thing people think is, oh, it's really sweet, and this Cool Whip actually kind of helps cut back on the sweetness because it's I much like lighter. Drop a block of cream cheese in there. And then uh, I want to add some milk. I'm going to add a third of a cup of milk into my mixture. Did you make this milk yourself? <laughs> no, I didn't. But I didn't want to bring my whole gallon of milk. So Did I just put it in a little, little metal uh, He makes there. everything at all. You're right. I do a lot of, I do a lot of home, home, you got uh, a cow back there? homemade stuff. Uh, no, we've got chickens up in Gibson. That. We get oh. Eggs, but uh, milk. My wife would love to have a cow, though. She really would. That would so. be cool. Okay, and then we're going to get a little bit of vanilla extract to give it a little bit more flavor in there. And uh, if you want... When they had the chocolate trees, I would add, use the chocolate trees, and then I'd add cocoa to that. If you want to just add some cocoa, give it a little more chocolatey flavor, that's totally fine. Uh, it'll be good either way. Sometimes you make a little bit of mess, so I'll put my little cover on there. Oh, I got that out of order there. There we go. And uh, we're going to let that mix until it's combined. That's it. That's uh, the dip. And um, we'll lock that, see how it goes. That's a fancy boy over there. Stand mixer. Best thing in a kitchen. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. And so I've had this for nine years or so, give or take. So we're gonna have that dip made, and uh, once it's done here, I'll pop it out. I'll probably mix it a little bit more in the commercial break, but you can see how I've got some nice fluff in there, and uh, that's what it looks like. We're gonna have to do some decorating, and we're gonna have to do some dipping with some stuff, aren't we? So that's what we'll do coming up in a little bit. We'll get that settled in. I do recommend putting it in the fridge for a little bit. Sometimes when you stick it in the fridge, um, that'll let those flavors come together and it'll help to make it a little more solid. So you can stick it in the fridge for a while. Uh, it'll be ready for you. We'll show you what the decoration looks like. Ooh. We'll do some taste testing with some of that stuff as well. Oh, That'll be all coming stuff. up uh, in just Awesome. All right, Jacob, looking forward to it. Thank you. We're looking for that special Christmas holiday recipe. Jacob Dickey has been cooking up a storm with this Christmas tree dip. Jacob, how's it going? Hey, I just pulled out uh, my can out of the, or my uh, bowl here out of the fridge. It's thickened up a little bit, so it's got a nice texture. And I've got my little plate ready here so we can do some snacking. And we're going to show you coming up here how you make this dip actually look like a Christmas tree cake. If you've had one, you probably know what's coming next. We're going to do that, do some testing out. Plus, we'll give those donuts a try. That's all coming up on Cooking Up a Storm, coming up after this.
Welcome back to the morning show. Jacob, where are we now? Well, we're about ready to eat. You ready to eat? Uh, yeah, I'm we are. So hungry Especially right Taylor, because she is all in for Christmas here. All She's the time. painting her pumpkins red and green <laughs> tonight when she gets home. They make me sound like I'm the Grinch or something. <laughs> hey, you just wait, you just wait till tomorrow when we show the Halloween costumes. Ooh, that'll be fun. That'll be, <laughs> that'll be fun. fun. Okay, um, so. We have got our dip going here. Look at this nice plate, this nice spread. It makes a really nice tray there, doesn't it? And what you can do is you put the dip in a bowl and surround it with some dip and snackers, things like that. To make the dip, again, things we used, what we did is we started with, of course, Christmas tree cakes. I did a box of those five. And then we did a tub of Cool Whip. I also did then some milk some vanilla extract, and some cream cheese in there. And we mixed that in the stand mixture, and that's uh, what we've got on the plate here. So it looks really good and ready to go. Except for it doesn't look quite like a Christmas tree cake yet. Yeah, oh. not really. What it's are we missing? We're missing the, the tree. Bride. I mean, Taylor would know, right? Yeah, Yeah, we're missing, <laughs> the we're missing, if you look in the box here, the red icing and the green sprinkles, right? Yep. So that's what we're going to add here. So uh, we're going to do the red icing first. Just buy a little tub of frosting on there if you want. And uh, we'll just put some lines in there, like the Christmas tree cakes. Now, they do this nice swirl. I don't know if it'll look as good. I'm not an artist or anything. But uh, why not? Some red lines. That's not bad, actually. Maybe I have a second career in art. What do you think, Adam? Uh, 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 he'll taste it, and he thinks I have a second career in food is probably yes, what that, that, that that's what's going to be. Yes, that's career is So we're going to add some red sure. lines on there, get it all nice and decorated. My last little line there, got a little, little bit uh, messed up in the end. Got a little icing on my fingers, so I want to wipe that off. And then we got to put some green sprinkles on there. Just get some icing sprinkles, some icing sugar, drop them on there. That. Now that's great. I like Christmas. it, yeah. yeah. Like the Christmas tree cake there, doesn't it? All right, so some I things like you it. can pick for snacking, because we want to do that, right? Um, you can do some graham crackers or some vanilla wafers. Vanilla wafers tend to be one of the most popular options for that. Um, sometimes some people will say, like, a dip can be a little sweet, and they want a little saltiness to that. So I love putting salted pretzels with that, little pretzel sticks, or if you've got just some regular pretzels there, that goes good with that. I also stuck some of these donuts that uh, they came out with this year on the side, so if we want to try those, we can too. But yeah. uh, why not take my sixth tree here and just... Oh, Stick that go. in oh, like that. Look at that. Yeah, I gotta add that last little, wow. last little piece there. Isn't that just so good looking? That is a dish that is made for deliciousness right there. So uh, we are ready to eat. Okay, you guys want to try? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Give it a try there, and uh, you can do if you want a little saltiness, you can get a pretzel. I got a graham cracker, vanilla wafer. You the can vanilla. do regular crackers, things of like that, and uh, then <laughs> then uh, try that there. <laughs> so that works out. I just want to make sure I got some red. That's all I wanted. Yeah, you go. That's true. There. So what do we think? Oh, wow. It's not too sweet, is it? It's not as sweet as you Fantastic. think. Fantastic. It oh it, it's so more good. light, more airy, and you can eat a lot of it there. And then imagine if you went wow. and had some mm -hmm. uh, cocoa powder or some Nesquik chocolate yeah. milk mix. Mm -hmm. I've added both those things to make it chocolate flavor. Unfortunately, again, they don't have the chocolate trees this year, but uh, that is something that... Uh, we can enjoy there. And then, did you want to try the donuts as well? We got a minute left. Jacob, oh, this beats donuts, my pumpkin does fluff. It, does it? Does it? It beats. I, I have to admit, I'm so sorry, but I, I have to try another. It's, that it's incredible. Fluff, yeah. That pumpkin fluff was pretty but good. This, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it more. Yeah, I get a little, little bite there myself. Mm. What do you think of the donuts? I like the donuts. It's good. It just tastes like a regular donut, though, doesn't it? Right, yeah. There's not, it's not anything in particular like. Wow. Um, that's good. Christmas tree. I've heard that the muffins are actually supposed to be really good, but I have not tried them yet. So anyways, I think this dip is appropriate all year round. The other thing, too, is sometimes in the summer, I take my Christmas tree cakes out of the freezer. Mm. Really? Dip. Works out well. Like you that. guys, <laughs> yep. me eating? We're watching Taylor eat. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? You good? Um, I mean, it tastes like a regular hostess. Yeah, this is just a regular donut. So Just decorated that this? way. It's fun to look at. So. Things. Adam's going for it now. He's going for pretzel sticks. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I mm -hmm. want to try the, the salted area. Jacob, where yeah. can we find this recipe? We're going to have this recipe uh, posted shortly after the show on my Facebook page. Also, uh, we'll put it on WCI.com slash Cooking Up a Storm. We'll have it there. You can just oh. head on over and get your Christmas tree cakes early, folks, before they run out because it seems like every year they start them a little earlier and they tend to run out a little earlier as well. So oh. I'm all set. Got my big old box there. But, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be awesome. Good you luck to it again. You. It might be good half job. empty, though. Right. All right. Yeah. Jacob, thank you. You can find this, like we said, on WCIA. We'll be right back.